Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about delivering value. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, would you say that the primary job of any software engineer is to deliver value? That's a very loose definition, but yes, I suppose so. But then again, I would say that any craftsman, uh, researcher, what, what have you, anybody working in any type of service or, or crafts um, type of job, is that, that it's their job to deliver value. I mean, shit, the politicians are also supposed to deliver value. Everybody who does a job for any reason should deliver value, right? This is one of those nothing terms that uh, uh, people who... Uh, who understand what it's supposed to mean, uh, may, uh, like do make the difference, but a lot of people just say these words uh, without actually knowing how to achieve the goal. Uh, it's sort of the problem that uh, a lot of people uh, that we face as a society, where you have uh, two people who both wear suits, or well, just fictionally now, they both wear suits, they both have nice haircuts, and one per they're saying the same words, it's just that one person actually knows what they're talking about, and the other person is a poser who is trying to gain something uh, due to selfish reasons or power or like ignorance, etc, etc. And so, as the consumer, as the viewer of this, this is sort of the problem that we face today, where I don't know how we got to this point, where the the idea is that we have these different outlets of information who are supposed to be responsible for making sure that you don't have to think about the well your part in this conversation because there is no expectation on the con on the viewer to be critical of their sources or inform themselves or educate themselves and be informed before they make they they make assumptions and stuff like that. It's everybody else's uh, responsibility to keep the keep everything as you know <laughs> to, uh, cons uh, mass consumable. But uh, side no a sidetrack aside, yes, it is true. But the, at the end, at the same time, you have to sort of think about what you're saying here, because guys, I've worked with some software developers who have this idea that uh, their job is not what their job they th what the the job description says they think that their job is to run the entire goddamn company and their job is to inspire everybody their job is to be the designer to be the analytics person to be the CTO CEO be the uh, psychiatrist uh, to be the like the office manager to be etc 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 and they're supposed to be everything at the same time and there's like this little piece of them that know as well that they're supposed to write code which is a problem because the there are extremes on both sides which is sort of the the thing that I'm trying to I was trying to grasp at there where if you don't understand the difference between what, what uh, like delivering value actually means. If you don't understand the bigger picture and sort of what would be the sustainable thing and like where, how to position things in such a way that the overall thing becomes you like it becomes efficient. It's very difficult for people to help you or to to account for the fact that you are incapable of fitting into the that mechanism. If that makes sense, the the way the like the picture that I could like I would like to paint pick you know, to to sort of describe is a clock of cogs. Now, if you don't understand how the clock works it's really difficult to find a slot where you can fit in into that machinery because if you don't give a fuck about how the whole thing has to sort of work for everything because it's like that's the idea right the clock uh, as a single cog in the machinery you benefit from the fact that the clock is running but if the responsibility is the clock is supposed to sort of figure out how to fit you in it's gonna be a hard it's a it's a mutual thing right you have to adjust the clock has to figure out like like the or the maintainers of the clock has to find somewhere for you etc etc it's a mutual responsibility right and the same thing goes with delivering value and some people are too fucking stupid i'm sorry to say it to understand that the world is more nuanced and more complicated than one single perspective saying that well no no, we are not supposed. I had a guy. I was talking to him the uh, not that long, oh, a few weeks ago. I asked this architect that we had. Uh, they had designed this gigantic system. It had taken months, and I asked him, like, because I could see based on the designs, because I've been talking to the consumers of the system that he's designing, and they are very unhappy with the way it works, 
because they have no way of accessing the information within the system. They have no, they don't know what's going on. And a lot of the support calls, in this case, these are our internal customers for the company. They need to have access to a lot of the information that is happening within the, this digital domain, and because they have a lot of customers calling and they don't have a way of helping the customers. And so I said. This design that you have made, you have not considered the perspective of our consumers. And he kind of goes up on his high horse and he says, "Well, yes, that is true, but I mean, that's not part of like uh, the, I mean, there's not there was no business requirement for this." And I look at him and I say, "But surely you, as the architect, should know who's going to consume the system, right?" Yeah. So. What you're telling me is that you you know who's going to use the system. You design the entire system, but because it wasn't written on a piece of paper, you don't feel like it's worth mentioning that you should probably talk to the customer, because what that's like the PO's job to think about. Surely that should be a mutual responsibility. Then the whole room went quiet. He looked like you I mean he was sitting there. He was standing there, presenting in front of like we're talking like about some of the highest managers in the entire company. He's just he lost it completely. Uh, yeah, but you know, but you mean and I said, well, delivering value is surely what we do, right? Yes, no, and then he kind of laughed, and you know, once he took on this little bit of an arrogant smile, I felt. And he's basically told me, no, 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 Frederick, it's not about delivering value. It is about revenue for the company. And I counter and I say, oh, great, uh, that is, that, yes, it is true, it is about revenue for the company. But since the company has figured out that figuring out this problem, w which is based on the idea to, of delivering value to the specific stakeholders, they are going to make revenue. How did you make the calculation that ignoring that uh, is going to make more money? Or did you do the math on that? Or is it just that we sort of skipped the whole talking and like skipped the the requirements because we got ourselves too involved in that is not my job type of mentality. Let's just say that this meeting was not a pleasant meeting for anybody involved. So what I'm trying to say here guys is that it is true that like uh, delivering value is the primary focus. So this is an extreme example where nobody has really given a shit about delivering value. They've just sort of, oh, this is not my job and said, fuck it to it all. But then I've had, I've worked with coworkers guys where I have had to have painful conversations with them about saying, dude, you cannot start five meetings a day and jump around between being a designer and being a PO and sitting in like customer meetings when you're part of my team. Because we, you're, you're not shipping any code. The thing that you are hired to do, you have to be able to do that because we rely on that you contribute. That's why we hired you. It's great that you're showing an interest, that you're trying to figure out new ways of working, new ways of delivering value. But at the end of the day, there are like we have deadlines to fulfill. We we are a piece, a, a cog within this machinery, right? And the rest of the clock, like everybody else, this sort of depends on that we do a certain level of, like we produce a certain level of output. And we hired you to help us produce that output. That doesn't mean that you put on your blindfolds and you just focus on the thing, but you have to, to some degree, understand that there has to be a balance between involving yourself in everything else that's going on in the company and just doing the coding. So you can't be a code monkey, but at the same time, you can't fuck around and never do the thing that we're asking you to do. There has to be a balance to the whole thing. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, it is absolutely a jo the job of a software developer to deliver value, but as with everything, moderation is the way, uh, pragmatism is the way. Uh, you can't be like the, an architect who just not, just does not give a shit about how the end results are going to look. You have to inform yourself well enough to know how to like actually solve the problems that you are hired to do. Uh, because if you never care about delivering the end value, then you're they, there are horror sh horror stories, guys, where big companies have hired like so-called experts who are paid like insane amounts of money who deliver a system that can be scrapped the same day and has you have to just redo the whole thing because they they simply do not care. 
or I lack the ability to understand what actual value towards the business or the customer, like the thing that actually matters. How do you make that happen? Because they're all theoretical or they like don't think that that is something that they should, like they have some notion that they, they are unable to figure that out basically. It's sort of like a, like a person who is really good in theory but can never apply the knowledge that they have learned or read sort of that sort of thing and then the other extreme is a person who just fucks around and never does anything but deliver value like they're always trying to figure out how to deliver value but they're not actually writing any code and so the real challenge for you as a software developer is to figure out how do I produce the best results possible given the circumstances and what are the best possible outcomes giving my limitations that is the key figure out when the best thing that you can do for everybody is to really focus on the coding right now because the code right now is the thing that is the blocker or the bottleneck for the that value that you're trying to build and when is the time for you to maybe wait with the coding a little bit and have a conversation with a few people or write a documentation thing or like something like that how do you find the solution that will yield the greatest benefits that is the key in order to find that balance at least in my opinion have a great day